in pursuit of resilience. To be resilient means to be strong, to be courageous, and to persevere. The big question, however, is, is resilience a destination or is it a goal? Can it be achieved or is it a continuous process? I classify myself as one of the strong ones, one of the resilient ones. However, I must confess that in the last one month, I have been shaken to my core. I've experienced several setbacks. I've seen unforeseen circumstances and challenges. I have doubted my strengths. I've questioned my judgment. And at, at a point, I prayed for a win. I was desperate for a win, any win at all. When it seemed that all that was stacked in front of me were boxes and boxes of unchecked buttons. While I'm not out of the blues yet, I realized that my resilience came not from me, but from people around me. Strangers who within a twinkle of an eye became friends. As a matter of fact, they became family, literally overnight. In some of the cases, I don't even know their last names. <laughs> I realized that maybe, just maybe, our resilience can come from people that surround us, people around us. So, do our challenges make us more resilient? Or is it our strength that we find in people that surround us that makes us more resilient? It's a higher being that tests us by throwing challenges at us and at the same time providing a cushion for us to rely on during those tough moments. Finally, is resilience a sprint or is it a marathon? Please share your view. <laughs> uh, I don't think there has a lot of things to say. Uh, <laughs> life coach. <laughs> life coach. I mean, it's interesting, you know, for, for me. I mean, I think, to, I mean, to start with, I think that resilience, I mean, any, any, any serious positive value, you know, value element like resilience is always a marathon, right? It's always, mm. it's always a destination. It's never, it, uh, so it's, it's always a, a direction, a journey, mm. never a destination. I don't think you can come to a point and say, oh, I'm now 100% resilient. I do not need any more resilience. I mean, try that, you know? I've seen those things where they say, oh, earth or universe, this is not a day, right? Can my day get any worse? You know, it's, sometimes you think that you're really resilient until life actually comes at you. Then you realize that that stuff you thought you were made, made of is just a fraction of what life could possibly throw at you. But, you know, the two things that have kept me going when I go through, cra you know, crazy moments in life. The first question I ask myself is, what's the worst that can happen sure. in this particular situation, mm. right? And I think about the absolute worst that can happen. I mean, by just thinking about the absolute worst, it helps me sort of um, compartmentalize better. I say, okay, this is the worst that can happen, right? So we'll put the worst there. We'll put the scenario. This is the worst that can happen. Okay, if the worst happens, then what? Right? That's the first thing I do. The other thing that I then do is, will this matter in one year? Mm. This is a question I see asked myself day before yesterday. Just day before the yesterday. The 10 days rule. You know. <laughs> I asked myself, will this matter in one year? And I realized that in one year, this will make absolutely no difference in my life nice. and who I am. And, you know, I just, it was just water off the dog's back. So I feel like, you know, in, in life, would always go through. I feel, as a matter of fact, I don't think there's anybody that has succeeded in life that didn't go through a moment in their life and they said, you know what, is it actually worth it? You know? So, and it's those moments that define us. It's those moments that actually decide, you know, exactly what we're made of, you know? And just to talk about your friends or people that I say became family, my opinion about that is what goes around comes around. You know, one time or the other, you've stood at someone's rock. You know, you've helped uh -huh. someone out of a situation. You gave someone, you know, something that you thought was insignificant at the time. Mm -hmm. Those things have a way of coming back around. I can tell you oh. hundreds of times in my life where from nowhere, total, absolute strangers came and bailed me out of an impossible situation that I, by myself, with all my connections, would have done nothing about at that particular point in time. But a total stranger, 
you know, we'll just come and then bail me out. So I know that what goes around comes around. And, you know, life will just always have a way of paying, you know, our good days forward. That's, well, that's my yeah. opinion. Picking it from what Tolu has said, thanks a lot, Tolu. And yeah. that's a great one, um, Ijimai. So I'm coming from the angle of, you know, um, from an internal perspective, right? So when you squeeze something, right, what that thing is made up of comes out. Mm -hmm. So if we try to squeeze a car, mm -hmm. what could come out could be oil, mm -hmm. water, mm -hmm. you know, Metal, yeah. metals and mm -hmm. all the stuff. Mm -hmm. So when life squeezes you as a human being, what comes out? And that's why someone said, you are not a thief because you stole. Mm -hmm. You stole because, because you're a thief. thief. Yeah. Right? So that oh. means every, you don't know, there's no elastic limit to what you can do. Mm -hmm. So when life throws things at you, it reveals the real intent of you, right? So resilience is something that comes out, or you know if you're resilient, if you go through some certain hurdles. I think I was discussing with a friend, <laughs> and I told her that we need some of, quote unquote, this wahala, you know, it sort of like toughens you up. It sort of like tells you how much, you know what someone says, oh, I didn't know that I could go through this mm. and come out. Mm. I mean, I didn't even think that I was going to come out. So if you, if you keep getting, you know, the easy way, the simple way, you will not understand if you have, you know, um, some bit of that internal toughness. So I see resilience as something that's really important. And that's why, you know, um, it's, it's very important to go through hurdles, to go through yeah. challenges, obstacles, because it reveals the real intent, you know, what you have or what you're made up of internally. Yeah. And that's basically what I think around, you know, that. Thank you. Wow, that's, that was a very interesting thought. For me, I'd say resilience is a continuation process, like just like compounding in the words of finance or accounting or mathematics. Mm -hmm. You do it the first time, it gets easier the second time, just like it gets bigger in mathematics. Mm -hmm. And then when it falls due to some probabilistic factors, and speaking mathematics, you reduce it a bit, you go again, compounding. In terms of resilience, if you try your best to achieve something, you couldn't achieve it. No problem. You don't beat yourself. You can't always win every time. Take it as part of life, teaching you something. You come back, at least strategize and come back again. When you keep doing this thing continuously, you will always be a winner. It's a continuous process. Failure and wins. I individual failure and individual winning is a continuous process and stepping stones. Let's redefine the way we see failures and successes. So before, um, <laughs> Peter, I remember this story. I was reading, I think I was, I was watching something and then, the man was playing golf, and then they came to him. He was a very wealthy man. They asked him, if you lost everything you had, mm -hmm. and all you have right now is your golf shirt, your golf short, and the golf stick, mm -hmm. what are you going to do? He said, I will, I will rebuild it. Yeah. Because I built it. I have the formula. I'm going to rebuild it. Yeah. You know, so I think things like that, you know, when you're able to go, like he said, you go through stuff, you know, you fail today. You come back and then you push and like um it, it, I said it's 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 a marathon absolutely it's not a hundred meter dash yeah so right, let's wrap this up i think um the points here are already rich enough i, I will what one of the things i'm drawing from Ejimai's points uh, is the fact that building resilience has a team approach to it Okay, you correct. know those days they tell you tell me your friends and i'll tell you who you are, you who you are. so you know the yeah. moment he she said that one analogy that came quickly came to my mind was the, you know the the man that was lame that couldn't you know that his four friends carried him mm -hmm. the god that he had to you know some of the people you see i remember one of the um owners of a broadcasting one of the strongest broadcasting house in nigeria the story of how he lost everything at the time, military regime and all of that, but it took friends rallying around him yeah. to get him back story. again. So I, I, I think it's just that place of surrounding yourself with the right people. Thanks so Absolutely. much, Ajima. Absolutely. So you guys, I really like your views on everything. I like the fact that you've, brought, you've looked at the topic from different dimensions, particularly from the angle of um, self-introspection, um, looking at friends and family as a as a shoulder to lean on. And I hope that regardless of the challenges that anybody's facing, you will always know that you, you can be resilient and it just makes you better, it makes you stronger. Up next is Felix.